Hey, it's Rob from Ginseng, and today I wanted to talk to you about the word ginseng. We have been traveling around Asia, and we're promoting ginseng and talking to lots of people about ginseng. We've been wearing our ginseng t-shirts, uh, and I've learned that lots of people don't know what the word ginseng means. I thought that's a perfect opportunity for a vocab lesson. So let's talk about the word ginseng. First, let's talk about pronunciation. We've got two syllables in ginseng. Jin sing, jin sing. The first syllable is jin, like, well, jin. The second syllable is sing, like, sing. Ah, uh, you don't want me to sing. Uh, but that's jin sing, jin sing. Let's also talk about what ginseng means. Uh, ginseng is a root. Uh, it's, it's a plant that's got a big, funny, ugly root. Some people think that the root looks like a person underground. Um, and it's, it's not very tasty. It doesn't look very nice. Uh, but many people think that ginseng is very good for you. It's very common in Chinese medicine to make ginseng tea. That's why we've got in our logo a little teacup, our steaming cup of tea. Uh, people believe that ginseng is good for your memory. Uh, they believe it's good for your energy levels. And these are things that are very important when you're learning English. So that's why we named our company Ginseng. Another note about the pronunciation, another reason that we named our company Ginseng, uh, is that the ing, the E-N-G in Ginseng, uh, sounds exactly the same as the ing in English. Ginseng, English. So that's why we're Ginseng English.